back again to my channel so in today's tutorial i'm gonna be doing a first impression video so i'm gonna be sharing with you guys the product i got from morphe and this is my first time using morphe products so this is the foundation and this is in f 5.50 and also got this 35 s sweet oac artistry palette so this is their newest palette for this 2021 and i also got this morphe translucent eyelid primer base so i'm gonna be trying out everything in this tutorial so keep watching and make sure you subscribe after watching Obviously, as soon as I'm finished, I'll be giving my thoughts and my opinion about the products, okay? So, I'll also be squashing the palette for you guys in my hands to see how, you know, gorgeous this palette looks like, okay? So, let's get into it immediately. Now we are done with the squashes, so I'm gonna go in with this my Morphe 5.50, yeah, fluidity full coverage palette. So I'm gonna bring it out, and yeah, this seems so dark. Do you think that this is gonna be my color or darker than me? Anyway, I got it for a reason. All my foundations are white, so I really need this type of black so that I can be mixing it and stop getting that white difference. So I don't need it this one. This is immediate. Okay, so let's dive into it immediately and start applying it. Oh my gosh! Oh, just look at that. This is so cute. Honestly, this is amazing. And they said it's a full coverage. It smells so good, so great. Ah, oh, I feel like licking it. <laughs> There is nothing that I cannot leave. This is red undertone. I didn't get the yellow undertone. My first time using foundation red undertone, honestly. I don't even know how I look like in the first time for this baby here using red undertone foundation. Anyways, like the red undertone is absolutely is good than the yellow. I don't know. I don't know actually, but I think the red undertone seems um, good. And the yellow. How do you guys see this yellow on that one? And it seems to me like something matte. Like guys, the foundation looks so good. As a first timer, first time to use Morphe products, the foundation looks so great. And also a full coverage like they said. Oh wow. I'm loving it. I love it. If I should say something about this foundation, is good for me i think red undertone is good for me because if this should be yellow undertone it actually look like it's not actually my color or my shade but with the red undertone it seems like we are cooperating honestly this looks so amazing all right guys um i think i'm done blending the stick is not that crazy okay i am impressed with the first time using morphe foundation okay I am absolutely impressed. So for my under eye concealer, I didn't get their concealer, okay? So I'm gonna be using this my, um, what did they call it? This my Clinique Beyond Perfect Foundation. So I'm gonna be, you know, kind of using it to conceal under my eyes. I was afraid to get it because as someone that haven't tried the product, you know, you don't need to spend a whole lot, a whole lot of um, money I need. so I said to myself what if I buy it at the end of the day is not actually what I expect with the result of this foundation I'm really impressed oh my god just look at this guys this is so amazing oh my god like look at this guys combining yellow undertone concealer and red undertone foundation oh my great god you know that the first impression you always get wow I love this. Okay guys, I'm gonna go in with this my nice face to bake under my eyes. Try not to mess up this 
piled about. I can't help it. It's messing up already. So for my contouring, I'm gonna be using this Yves Rocher contour, and this is in shade Brown Matte Arrow 701. So I'm gonna use it to contour my cheeks, my nose, and the rest of everywhere that needs to be contoured. For my compact hair, I'm gonna be using this um, Rimmel. I love this one. So ever since I started loving this Rimmel, it's now becoming my favorite. Although I have not tried a lot, but this now becoming my favorite. And I'm gonna go in with this Rimmel to set up the rest of my face. There is any places that need to be oil, so I'm gonna use this to kind of set it up. Normally, compact hair is um, compact hair. That's the new thing. Um, browns, natural bronzer is good for setting up your whole face like not everything is okay. I really like this foundation how everything is coming out. I like it so much. This is my <laughs> favorite. Can I say favorite guys? So I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow primer and this is also from morphe the one i have which was you can be product i i think it has already finished so i was looking for one to get wow just look at that so i'm gonna apply a little bit of it on my eyes anyway i'm not a fan of eye primer like oh this girl didn't use eye primer for that reason her makeup will not be good that I'm a fan of concealer. I use concealer to do everything I want to do. But you know, when you form a one habit, you would like to, you know, kind of try to change it for the future. Yeah. So I'm just, you know, trying to master myself with eye primer so that I'll be used to it like the way I'm used to concealer as well. The eye primer seems to be looking good though. Hopefully, it's good as the foundation. So once the eye primer. I'm done with it. I'm gonna go in with this new baby here. Okay, so I'm gonna be using one of the shade here to create a beautiful and a gorgeous eye look. So I'm gonna go in with this Infinity Pool. So I'm gonna use that for the starting. It doesn't have mirror here. Okay, it doesn't have mirror, and anyway, it looks beautiful. That's the thing. I think the primer is also good. Yeah, the work of primer is that it will help your eyeshadow to pop up, okay? Then I'll be blending it with this private gel, okay? I'm gonna go in with many of this color and apply it in the particular place that I applied the crease, but anyone I applied, I will let you guys know about it, okay? The first shimmer that I'll be applying should be this champagne on eyes. So I'm gonna go in with this shade for my under eyes to blend the eyeliner that I just So guys, I'm gonna go in with this my color pop, um, color pop, and this is in shade some like it hot. But first of all, before I highlight, I'll make sure that I apply my blush. So I'm gonna go back to the palette, to this palette here. Then I'll use one of the colors right here to apply as a blush. Oh my god, just look at this. Hey! And remember, this is my first impression of using Morphe foundation, okay? I'm gonna go in with my highlighter, like I said earlier. So for my lip, guys, this is um, Stila and this is in shade Chanty. So I'm gonna use it to, you know, apply here. Like this is good with this lipstick honestly but I don't want to do lip combo so I'm gonna go in with my this is from O2O and this is um, lip colors <laughs> oh my god like guys just look at this this is absolutely amazing honestly I'm so much in love with this this that you are seeing right here is also matte so that you don't just you know kind of mistake if you don't um put lip gloss the lipstick is not actually good like it's not the best okay because if you don't put lip gloss it will dry off everything about you so just let me know if you will rock it matte or if you like to 
put lip gloss for the matte this is how the matte looks like i'm gonna put on this um, gloss this is my favorite gloss for the moment and this is from rimmel i don't like dry lips so i already have um, dry lips so leaving my lips to be dry is kind of punishing my lips okay wow look at the shining <laughs> I'm just like someone who just finished eating chicken, right? Does that eat chicken? I don't know. Maybe the makeup gave me chicken. So I go with red undertone and that red undertone happens to give me this amazing look. Wow, like this. <laughs> oh my God. I told you guys that whenever I want to buy foundation, I always do mistake in buying foundation. I got this shade that is like blowing my mind, you know, giving me that flawless like Bibioko, <laughs> the new chassis bay in the town okay so this is it and how much i love this foundation this cannot be compared i'm happy that i did and i get this shade okay over to my thought in this um morphe translucent eyelid primer this eyelid primer is also good like you guys see that my eyeshadow sticks and it brings out the look and the color in the eyes so over to our latest baby in the town the new baby of morphe okay this morphe that 5s sweet oasis is fantastic just look at that number one it falls out yes i can't lie it falls out and no foundation that doesn't fall out but the most important thing is that it sticks to eyes while blending it then the number two is that it blends so easily during blending like it doesn't it don't it doesn't give you that difficulty i don't know if because um i applied eye primer before anything i don't know if it's because of that but the shimmers doesn't fall out okay the shimmer sticks till the end it's worth it it's worth spending your money for they did an amazing job in this palette right here and i'm so grateful that i was able to lay my hand on this palette and you guys know that this palette i said it two weeks ago okay this new year new palette <laughs> oh my goodness i can't wait to finish all the whole colors in this palette here i'm so happy that i was able to get it and there guys these are my thoughts on this palette so if you like it you can get it it's worth buying for it worth your money okay don't get me wrong when i say it falls out there is no palette that doesn't fall out okay so the most important thing that is easy to blend and it's thick it sticks to your eyes and it gives you that amazing look trying morphe product for the very first time so happy as a first timer i'm so grateful and i can't wait to buy more of their products so if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe in the subscribe button make sure you turn on the notification bell for more tutorials every week from me to you okay so yeah and i'll see you guys in my next video i can't wait to see each and every one of you